as leader of the U.S. party and answer some of your questions so that the endeavors and the stories, innuendos and stories now being circulated do not get to live a life of their own. Ever since the result of the August 29 parliamentary elections were known, the U.S. party has remained committed to doing what is right for our people of this country. We were forced signatory to a document announcing our willingness to work together with the National Alliance and the Democratic Party in forming a government supported by eight members of parliament. We are also signatory to agreements entailed a division of portfolios in a new, yet to be formed, government for St. Martin. Today, nothing has changed as far as Franz Richardson is concerned. The matter of governance is one of the serious for the U.S. party. It is a responsibility that we do not take lightly, and it is one that we intend to give content to and in the coming four years. I have the support of the party board and candidates who contested the past election, and as far as we are concerned, there is simply no room for any maneuvers that would endanger us from moving forward. The U.S. party was formed with the purpose of addressing, among others, the socio-economic and financial challenges facing St. Martin. Not too long ago, on the campaign trail, we spoke of issues and elaborated on how we, are, we would go about turning ideas into concrete action. I said from the onset that I would head a party that is here to represent the people of St. Martin. We are now getting an opportunity to do just that. Not only those that voted for the party, but the entire community of St. Martin. I, for one, look forward to the responsibilities that go with this new opportunity to embrace this moment as one of hope and promise for the people of St. Martin. We have no choice but to get on this, to get on with the matter of governing St. Martin to the best of our collective responsibilities and always with the people in mind. That's the questions? Okay. Are you going to have Ms. Marlin make a statement? I I would like for take it easy. I would like for Ms. Marlin to address um, the issue at hand. Well, good morning, radio listeners. Good morning, invited press. I am going to address some of the issues that was uh, posted on social media. Let me first thank the 245 voters that had confidence in me, that supported me for the August 29 parliamentary elections. Again, I want to thank them because without their votes, I would not be in this position at this current moment. With that said, and for a point of clarification, last night we had a I made a brief statement and I just wanted to make a statement. There is not a government as yet in the sense of, as of October, there will be an official government. So it's my responsibility to make sure that the 245 persons that select, that opted for me to represent them in parliament understand that what they were hearing about the jumping, about the money taking, about all of that stuff that was not true. I mean, I find it's very unfortunate that people would try to slander my name uh, in public. And I want to thank you, Bibi, for giving me that publicity. And whoever else has been broadcasting other stuff on Facebook, thank you for the publicity. But that is not going to break me. The point is that 245 persons voted for me. I must thank them. I am responsible to give them a response to their concern. Remember, I studied political science. So, of course, when getting into government, you cannot only represent 245 persons. It's the same thing when I ran on the National Alliance League four years ago, and I returned back to the Civil Registry Department. I did not only serve only National Alliance people. I served 
all of the citizens of St. Martin. And there will be no difference because I am, at the end of the day, a professional. And that's what it is. Now, have Leona left the USP party? No, I am a candidate. I'm still a candidate of number two. I'm a member of the United St. Martin party, and there I shall stay. That's where the people ask me to be, and that's where I'm at. Okay. Um, isn't it frustrating, though, that, um, you know, you busy with negotiations and now, um, you know, persons are just assuming or um, jumping to conclusions? You, you know, the, the thing about this is that social media is something that you can't really control. But again, let my actions in Parliament determine how I perform. So watch me at the end of the day. Watch me. Because I gave my word to the people to represent them and give them proper representation and that is exactly what my intentions is are and that is exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, the Good question morning. I just want to ask is, were you approached by any member of the UP party to seek your support for them? I was not approached, me personally was not approached by any other party to run with them or to, to jump over. Have other parties addressed my team members? Yes, that has happened. But does that make it that Leona is going to go on? No, absolutely not. None of them came to me in person because I would not entertain such. Ms. Pauline, um, did you have indifferences with your political leader, Mr. Frank Richardson? Were you asking to have the, re the, the, the governing accord that was signed that the negotiations reopened? I'm asking if there was differences between, within the party. Did you have any differences? Like every other party, when it's time for after, when it's time for selecting ministries, like any other party, I had my concerns. Yes, I had my concerns. I discussed it with the party president, and I discussed it with the party leader. So if anyone knows me, you can't just give me something, and if I have a question, I will ask my questions. Okay, those questions, were they asked prior to the signing of the government, governing accord or it happened, happened after? Because the information I got, and, I'm, and I want to say thank you for ask, uh, admitting that I did put out the story, it's my job. Mm -hmm. um, what I want to ask you, prior to the governing accord being signed, the USP was demanding uh, the roaming. The governing accord is signed. Now I'm understanding that you wanted education. Um, where did that lead? After a meeting last night with the three leaders, you and your party leader had a meeting. Why? Was it because you guys had some indifferences? There were things that had to be ironed out? In any political party's um, setting, there's always things to be ironed out. Like I after said, an, after a governing like, accord is signed. Like I said, um, Bibi Shaw. Any every political party will have their ups and downs and discussions. So Leona Marlin Romeo came on board of the USP party to represent the people of St. Martin. If I have a question pertaining to how things were done, because I think that certain things weren't going the way I thought it should, should go, I discussed it with the party leader. End of story. So whether it happened in, when, when, when it happened, whether it happened in the beginning or whether it happened in the end, or whether it's going to be continue to happen, that's, a, that, that is, that's irrelevant. The point is, I have not jumped ship. The point is, I am standing next to Franz Richardson. The point is, when I do get in Parliament, my stance will not change. If something is not right, in my opinion, I am going to voice the, my, my opinion. That's just how Leona Marlin is. I'm not going to, because of party lines or because of it. If it's good for the country, the country will get my support at the end of the day. But Leona Marlin is right next to Franz Richardson. I'm not going anywhere. And that's, that's what counts at the end of the day. And, I, I, and you, you stated that, um, maybe you stated that it's your job. I, I fully agree with um, um, the public understanding or getting information, but I think before you slander a person's name and my campaign manager, I think it's important to get the facts straight. Why didn't and, you answer your telephone? Um, 12 times you got a call. You always Bibi Shah, answer your Bibi telephone. Shah, um, if I answer my telephone, if I don't answer my telephone, it's irrelevant. The point is, it's getting your, you have my email address as well. The point is getting the facts straight. And I'm gonna tell you all something. Social media and all, Leona Marlin Romia is not going to be intimidated by anyone. And anyone, and let me make that straight, by no one. 
So whether things are going in your favor or anybody else's favor, if it's not right for the people of St. Martin, I am not going in that direction. I am not going to, and I'm not going to fight my battles either on social media. There's a saying, go ahead and throw me to the wolves. Throw me to the wolves, but when I come back, I'll be leading the pack. Okay. Can I have a question for Mr. Richardson, yeah. if I may? Uh, do you have the impression that the story that we're discussing here, that somebody paid for it to have it published this way? Well, I, I believe that everyone has the right to have an opinion, but I believe that it's always good to hear it from the horse's mouth. And I think this was the idea of the U.S. party coming here this morning and clearing the air of anything that was said out here that the party was having um, issues. I think in every political party there's always discussions internally that has to continue, that we believe will continue to be addressed by the party and the board. Um, that is the reason why we have a board and a president where issues are discussed. I think um, sometimes it gets out the wrong way, um, but sometimes all of us to blame for allowing issues like this to live a life of its own until we all address it and nip it once and for all. And that is what we are here today, to let the public of St. Martin know that the U.S. Party is here to govern, the U.S. Party is here to continue to work on, on behalf of all the people of this country. And we intend to stick together as a team to make sure that the things that we promise on the campaign trail are the things that we want to achieve. But it must be achieved together in a government that works together. Not that a government is going to sit there and look different, but we believe that this time around, this government must work hand in hand together for this country. Um, the, 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 question, the question was, do you think that somebody paid to have this story published? That I cannot answer because I don't work for the Secret Service and knows anything like that, so I cannot answer something like that. Um, wait a minute. Um, how does the, uh, your other coalition members feel about um, since the news you know, started yesterday? Well, of course, in any coalition, there would always be um, feelings, uneasiness, if anything like this comes out. I think we assure our coalition partners that we are here to stay. We have signed an agreement. We're going to work it out. And we're going to make sure I have a government for the people of the country. It's a unique opportunity for all of us. Um, if I may ask you, Ms. Mullen, um, referring to the question we asked earlier, you said you had some concerns um, prior or during the time that the upon was signed. Can you elaborate a bit more on those concerns? Well, I, I think as leader of the political party, I would not want to go into details. I think those details should remain within the party and the negotiation teams. Those are internal issues that we want to keep internal. And until we have agreed on all is said and done, the public will be aware of what we have achieved in the negotiations. Well, the question was directed to Ms. Marley. As leader of the political party, I would be the one taking that responsibility. And I respect his decision. Yes. Uh, Ms. Ms. Ma Ms. Marley, I want to ask you one last question. The last four years, and even the night of uh, the election, the morning of the election results, you were there with Mr. Richardson when he made clear what happened the last governing period will not happen this time. Can you assure the people of St. Martin and the people you said that voted for you that there will be no ship jumping and instability within government within the next four years? Can you give us that assurance? Not, not, that is definitely not a problem, Divisha. I am a woman of my word. The people supported me to stay where I am at, and I respect that. There's no need for Leona Marlin to cross over to any other political lines. I gave my word to Franz Fritzson, and that's what, that's what I gave. So there is assurance there. I don't have to doubt myself. I am a person of integrity, and I am not going anywhere um, after USP. That's what you'll see me here in 2018 as well. Thank you for the clarification. Uh, moving on from this issue a bit, right now I think the focus uh, is on you know candidate ministers, etc. How far along has USP got with your candidate ministers, etc.? Well, at this time, the, the USP will not divulge who would be ministers, but as you know, there's two persons who was elected as members of parliament, Mike Person and Leona Marlin are the two right now who are the ones elected. The ministers, um, that will be given to the public in due time where that's concerned. 
Uh, huh? how, how soon do you expect? Uh, I know uh, the former tour, Mr. William Marlin, of the National Alliance has been given by the governor until September 24th to submit his report. Do you think, as one of the coalition partners, that you're so far along that we may not have to wait till the 24th for that report? Well, we are hoping that we will have it wrapped up by the time the, the former tour has the, the date that is given. We, as a political party, believe that it is something that we are dealing with, that we will live up to the date that is given, and uh, we, the public will be assured that that information will be given, who those um, candidates will be. Are, are both of you, you, Ms. Uh, Marlon Romeo, and you, Mr. Richardson, planning to stay in Parliament, or are it on the table for either of you to take Well, it's, it's a discussion we are still having within the political party, and as we move forward, the public will be aware of well, what intentions both Leona Marlin and Franz Richardson well, what's your will preference? be made. My preference is to continue to govern this country for the people of South Africa. Good question. Good question. Uh, Edwin Gomes, I have one uh, question. I have the feeling that we have seen in the press a campaign of disinformation. My simple question is, is the USP involved in having this campaign of disinformation in the press in any way? Absolutely not. I think um, the press and the public will get the information in due time while the negotiations continue and decisions are made. One can put things in the press if there's nothing concrete written in written form that the press would be able to say, okay, Social media. Two different things. Social media and press. press two different social things. media, all is press. In my no, 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 no. USB is confirming that they had no hand in this disinformation of the people. USB is confirming that USB will continue to work for the people of this country. GEBE has been faithfully serving the communities of St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia, powering your home and our economy. Come rain or shine, our qualified team of professionals are working hard 24 hours a day to provide you and your family with safe, reliable electricity and water. We use the latest technologies and test our products daily to maintain the highest international standards. Our friendly staff is always there to assist you whether in person, over the phone or online. We are committed to constantly improving our products and services, making them more efficient, effective and environmentally friendly to serve you better today and our next generation of clients tomorrow. GEBE, -E, powering a brighter future. Our friend Mega Wadi is here with tips to save you energy. One, turn your air code temperature up. Two, use a ceiling fan instead. Three, buy energy saving products. Save some green with NVGEBE. -E.